Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here. Today I have a traveler's notebook layout that I created for the Tracy Reed Designs creative team. This is using the June Summer Camp collection and I'm specifically working with the traveler's notebook signatures here. A couple of things that I did before starting this layout. One was I printed out the full page photo and I also printed out this yellow uh, patterned paper, traveler's notebook paper. And then I also created the vellum that you'll see right here. And the way I created that was I opened it up in Photoshop. I opened up that traveler's notebook signature in Photoshop. And then I also opened up the stamp that I used at the top of that pattern paper. And I overlaid the, the stripe, the wavy stripe, over top of the stamp and created a clipping mask so that the stamp was colored the same way as the pattern paper is. And then I just printed it out on vellum. I usually just use office grade vellum that you can get at the office supply store. And cut everything out and now I'm ready to begin my layout process here. So the photo that I'm working with is from Port Royal, South Carolina. This was a really short trip we took uh, in 2021, in April of that year. And so just uh, putting some of those photos from that trip here and there and wanted to use this photo. One, I was inspired by the sun going down here and it reminded me of some of the pattern papers in this collection. And so I'm just going to kind of figure out here how I want to embellish this layout. And I decide to use a journaling card over top of the yellow pattern paper. And I'm going to add some embellishments at the top and bottom of that. It takes me a few minutes here just going with the mood. At first I thought I would use those really cool quilting icons. That's what I call them. Um, I, and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to use those, but it ended up making this nice little base here for this embellishment cluster. And so it the blue, using the blue helps to bring in another color into the layout. And uh, then I just went and grabbed a couple of enamel dots and I'm going to use those as the centers of these flowers. And so that's that feels like a, an excellent start here. I'm going to stamp a date really quick and just a couple of little word sentiments here. Um, I've got to mask off that cluster I did. <laughs> and notice how I'm going to stamp around the, um, you'll see at the, at the end of the layout how I stamped around that card. But at that point, I was just stamping my lines. I always journal with lines. It's just my thing, how I do. <laughs> and so then I'm going to just journal here a, a few sentences about um, what we were experiencing and how beautiful that sunset was that day. Um, so once I kind of had the the basis for the design, for the page design figured out, it came together really quickly. Um, just a simple journal card layered on top of the pattern paper, a couple of embellishments here, um, the, the vellum that I'm going to use in between these two pages. Um, you'll see what I do with that here in just a minute. And then I'm also trying to build a cluster on the photo itself. And I wasn't really sure, like, how did I, how did I want to embellish the photo? What did I want to do with it? It could have been left just the way it was. The photo was really pretty. Um, but y'all know me, I don't leave anything untouched, basically. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and add a word strip here at the top of the uh, journal card and another little smaller embellishment cluster here just to sort of counterbalance. 
And my, what I'm doing here is kind of building a visual triangle with these embellishments. Um, so your eye will go up and then across the page in theory. So what happens, what ends up happening with this cluster here on the photo, and by cluster I mean embellishment cluster, and <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out here, I decide to do a label and then build around that, and that seemed to be, you know, that's pretty, pretty standard, do it over and over and over again. <laughs> I wanted to incorporate the rainbow. I love that Tracy always includes rainbows in her collections. So you're always going to get a rainbow somewhere. I love that. And I hope that she continues doing that. Uh, it's something that I look for every time. Where's the rainbow? And um, so that'll look cute peeking out from behind this label. And then I get to stamp something in there in that label. So I'm just going to trim that rainbow a little bit. And I actually doubled them up here. Uh, one was more on the the yellow end of the uh, Roji Bib and the other one was on the blue green end of Roji Bib. So I just layered them <laughs> and got both of them. And that actually sort of repeats the blue that's on the other side and that was the, the specific purpose of why I did that and then I also put a little blue flower there behind that explore and that carries the blue over as well. I decided not to stamp in there. I just wrote um, where we were and then here's my date stamp coming in hot and so I'm just using the Becky Higgins roller date stamp for that. And then here's where I uh, was trying to figure out like what did I want to stamp in addition to just the date. Um, it's something that I challenge myself and I'm going to challenge you as well just to pull out a couple of stamp sets and even if you just stamp one word sentiment to just do that and challenge yourself on every layout that you create to use at least one stamp. Um, besides just your date stamp. <laughs> um, just to get in the habit of pulling out your stamps, um, finding a stamp set that goes with the layout that you're creating and using it somewhere. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be this um, super creative thing. I'm just using plain black ink here and word stamps and that's really all it has to be and so um, what I ended up doing is stamping a little bit over top of the label on the photo and then of course as I mentioned already the stamps around the journal card as well and then this this little vellum I couldn't leave it untouched either and so I took a word stamp and curved it on the stamp block so that it followed that curve on the on the pattern paper and it, it turns out I didn't really center <laughs> I didn't really center that and it was kind of bugging me so uh here I'm gonna stamp just a little bit more it just keeps it just keeps going and going and that that off-centered stamp is still bugging me um, so here's how I'm gonna fix that I'm gonna go grab a couple of other colors of enamel dots and I'm gonna add a, an enamel dot there <laughs> and that sort of fixed it a little bit better so I think that completes my layout thank you so much for watching I hope you'll pop over to the blog and check out my post where I have product links, of course, and they'll be linked below where you can purchase the Tracy Reed Designs Summer Camp Collection. And uh, I hope that you have a fun time crafting today. See you back here again soon. Bye-bye.